Hello, welcome to my channel. If you love biographies or history, leave a like. Now let's get back to the video. Alfred Carlton Gilbert, born on February 15, 1884, in Salem, Oregon, emerged as a prolific inventor and successful entrepreneur known for his contributions to the toy industry and his iconic creation. The erector set Gilbert's life journey reflects a remarkable blend of creativity, business acumen, and a commitment to fostering imaginative play, growing up with a keen interest in magic and sports. Gilbert's entrepreneurial spirit became evident at a young age while studying at Yale University. He excelled in both academics and athletics, winning a gold medal in pole vaulting at the 1908 London Olympics. His diverse interests laid the foundation for his future endeavors. In 1911, Gilbert introduced the world to the Erector Set, a construction toy that allowed children to build intricate structures using metal beams, gears, and pulleys. The set not only provided entertainment, but also fostered an early interest in engineering and construction. The Erector Set became a cultural phenomenon inspiring generations of young minds and earning Gilbert the nickname The Man Who Saved Christmas. Due to its popularity as a holiday gift, despite the challenges posed by World War I, Gilbert's inventive spirit persisted. He diversified his creations, introducing the American Flyer electric train sets in the 1920s. Further solidifying his presence in the toy industry, Gilbert's commitment to quality and innovation set his products apart, establishing him as a leading figure in the business. In addition to his success as a toy inventor, Gilbert was a vocal advocate for play-based learning. He believed in the power of toys to stimulate creativity and intellectual development in children. Gilbert's influence extended beyond the toy industry. He served as the president of the American Toy Manufacturers Association and actively promoted the importance of play in childhood education. However, Gilbert's life took an unexpected turn during World War II. When the U.S. government requisitioned metal for the war effort, leading to the temporary halt of toy production, undeterred, Gilbert shifted his focus to other ventures, including inventing a machine for manufacturing medicine pills, post-war challenges, and changing consumer preferences, impacted Gilbert's toy business, leading to its eventual sale in 1951. Despite financial setbacks, Gilbert continued to contribute to the educational field, developing the Gilbert Hall of Science, an interactive science museum aimed at inspiring young minds. Alfred Carlton Gilbert passed away on January 24, 1961, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the toy industry, his inventive creations notably the Erector Set, continue to resonate with generations of builders and engineers. Gilbert's advocacy for the importance of play in education remains relevant, emphasizing the enduring impact of his contributions to both the toy industry and childhood development. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a sub.